it feels like CZ is getting off with a slap on the wrist relative to Sam Bankman Freed. What happens? What's the difference between the two? Well, there, you know, so I, I, I know he wasn't stealing customer funds. Yeah. But the stuff that he was admitting to doing, flouting law intentionally, flouting U.S. Yeah. law, it was pretty extreme. Well, look, we have over $4 billion in fines on the criminal and the civil side, CFTC, Justice, and Treasury. Obviously, there's the criminal side, so he will be going to jail. The sentencing will be in you know, a bit of time. So I think law enforcement, both criminal and civil, we work together. We feel like we got right. the bad actor here, and it's sending and you think he's going And you think he's going to jail? Look, those are the charges. We'll obviously see what I know, but he's got to be in the right jurisdiction so you can take him to jail if you want to take yep. him to jail. Is that part of the problem? Is he was in a in a country that doesn't have an extradition treaty with the United States? So if he doesn't agree to it, it's going to be a lot harder to pin him. Look, down. I don't want to talk about the criminal side. We were focused on the civil right. side. There's a lot of issues, but I think we got to a good solution, and we're very proud of what we were able to accomplish collectively as a U.S. government. Approval process going for a spot Bitcoin ETF. I know you're facing a window in early January. What does that look like? Well, Sarah, we have I think it's between eight and a dozen filings. I, I'm a chair of a commission. I'm not to prejudge anything. So that's going through the process right now. Uh, and as you might know, uh, we had in the past uh, uh, denied a number of these applications, but the courts uh, here in the District of Columbia uh, weighed in on that. And so we're taking a new look at this uh, based upon those court rulings. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And you know I come back with that video just to make you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you join the Patreons. If you're not a part of Patreons, make sure you're hitting the cash app. Now we had the CFTC chairman a couple of days ago says that CZ was going to jail. Yes, he slipped that in. We know the Binance movie and Tether movie is definitely not over. And we have Gary Gensler kicking the spot Bitcoin ETF can down the road. Says that he's considering the court decision. We know he could have been approved one, but they want to keep the casino wide open. Futures, they get their cash out. They're just betting on the price. And guys, after Fed Jerome Powell signal that he's going to be lowering rates. We saw the bond market go crazy, plummet. We saw the dollar plummet. And of course, guys, that's great for markets. Stocks, cryptos, and of course, go. But it was one thing that Fed Jerome Powell stated I didn't go over last night, and that was immigration. And he slipped that on in there, talking about employment and immigration. Guys, we know this was all a setup. And in 2024, the presidential year, we're going to see it all unfold. And we're going to start seeing plenty of layoffs because we know it's going to be the rise of the machine. And speaking of machines, we have algorithms. And we know these algorithms are going to know you better than you know yourself. And you won't be able to tell whether you're speaking to a human or a bot pretty soon. But we had Becky playing the Hegelian dialectic, asking how can we fix the algorithms? How can you fix the algorithm? The same person who programmed it needs to stop programming it with hidden agendas. You can already see the Hegelian dialectic being played, the divide and conquer with these bots. You know I spoke about it plenty of times. But now that these machines are going to take over the economy, that's what makes it so dangerous because you're not going to have an individual that you're going to be able to point the finger to. You're going to be fussing with a bot, and that's exactly how they want it. They will be able to hide behind the machine while controlling the globe. And remember the crypto teacher told you, because he knows when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. You have a wonderful day. But the focus still needs to be on inflation. And I think the Fed needed to strike a much ho more hawkish tone, if only to offset the irrational exuberance of the markets trying to you know, create expectations that are significantly loosening uh, financial conditions at this point. So inflation's not, uh, you know, the Fed itself says that they're not going to hit target until 2026. Services, you've still got some pretty robust price increases. Housing's coming down a bit, rents at least, but not as much as we were hoping. So, yeah, there's a long way to go on this fight. And uh, I, I do worry they're blinking a bit and now starting to pivot and worry about recession when I don't see any of that risk in the data so far. 
that was a classic, you know, problem that Arthur Burns made. It was, he, he, he was premature in lowering rates again because he was worried about recession. So I, I, I do think this is a mistake. I think they need to, you know, keep their eye on the ball, the inflation ball, and uh, and tame the market, not reinforce it with this uh, dovish, very dovish dot. Uh, first was, in fact, the market reaction. I think it was probably um, outsized compared to what anyone would have expected with Powell saying things that were you know, pretty obvious. Second, I would say um, you know, that they themselves are clearly feeling much more comfortable. You know, Three weeks ago, Powell was saying it's too early to even talk about uh, rate cuts, and here we are three weeks later, and he admitted that you know, rate cut discussion was at the table. I think he said something in that phrase. Uh, and then third, um, the, the real expectation of three cuts being so clearly uh, pointed out in the so-called dot plot. So it was, uh, for me, you know, a move that was a little more firm in the rate cut direction than I had personally expected. I'm a little surprised by the euphoria in the market by what Powell said, because it wasn't so surprising. Everyone expected him to stay static with rates, and I think everyone expected rates to be cut next year. So it's not so surprising when they cut rates, whether it's March or July, I don't think matters because remember, monetary policy lags in the market. So we'll still be feeling the effects of the higher rates for longer in the market next year. I think what's really interesting and where we see opportunities in the equity sector is in the asset classes that underperformed this year. So if you look at the equity market, the rage in returns is really in what I'm calling the terrific 10, right? 10 stocks responsible for 80% of market returns. And you can find a lot of value in those securities that are left behind. And we're seeing that actually since Powell's statements, like you just mentioned, Sarah, real estate, utilities, they're really driving this charge in the last two days. And those are areas where we're expecting to see outperformance next year. Because want to look at the precious metals as well. I think the fact that gold held 1950 over the last several days and has come right back to the highs is another message that this weak dollar story has tentacles uh, many areas uh, that we look. Group now offering to pay some staffers a portion of their bonuses early if they agree to leave the company. A Bloomberg report saying the bank uh, making the offer to a limited number of staffers who would be able to keep all of their deferred stock awards in addition to the bonus payment. Now, Eligible staffers are those impacted by the bank's reorganization. City has already cut more than 300 senior management roles and hasn't put a number out on how many more cuts are still to come. But uh, they're basically saying, here's the door and here's some money. Uh, please go through it. Well, the deferred compensation is a way of trying keeping people around, sure. making sure you stay. If we, they no longer want you and they think you're just staying around because you're just waiting to get the payout of the restricted shares or whatever else kicks in. All right. Look, okay. there's something actually good about this. Rather than saying, here's the door, and, and by the and way, you're going to get nothing. It. Right. Yeah, it's so, a better deal, yes, I there's suppose. there's something very gentlemanly about Humane. this. Humane. Right. <laughs> if you're saying you're opposed to that, what in the world is wrong with you? How can you not get things through? We're using our kids as lab rats with this grand experiment that we know from studies that have been done is causing them harm, makes them feel worse about themselves, leads to all kinds of uh, online bullying and other issues, not to mention child pornography and the you know, the sexual assault, basically, that takes place online with these kids. Well, you're talking common sense, right? You're talking like, as a mom, right, yeah. that this, we, we need to protect kids. I mean, that's like, like the number one responsibility that we have and a society has, protect children. We would never allow this behavior to take place in a Chuck E. Cheese or in a mall or in somewhere in the real world online. Suddenly it's okay if you can get it down to one or two or five percent of the transactions that are taking place. Unfortunately, what's happened with this technology, it, the design of the tech and how now in its centralized form, dominated by a few apps, what ends up happening is we, the, the information that they aggregate and apply algorithms to, and by the way, algorithms are just another name for artificial intelligence, so it's not a new thing. These algorithms are designed actually to divide us and, and, and separate us. Because and trigger hate gets a better us. response when you're mad, you spend more time online? Well, if you look, I think the algorithms are working perfectly, right? If an algorithm is designed to keep you online and the way to keep people triggered and defending themselves and then the other person defends themselves and so forth, 